before I explain the fractional indices uh, through example three to six, I would want to introduce to you the laws of indices in general. And uh, they could be five, they could be more, but let's just introduce uh, the most common ones. If a number a is raised to power m, and it is multiplied to another number a, which is raised to power n, then this is equals to the same base a raised to power m plus n, meaning we add the indices. For example, if 2 is raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power 2 is 2 raised to power 3 plus 2, which is 5. And you can consult your calculator to tell you this is um, 2 raised to power 5. Um, 2 raised to power 5. This is 32. This is supposed to be 32. Okay, the second law of indices is the same, uh, uh, a number a raised to power m is divided by the same number, but this time raised to power n is equals to the same number a raised to power m minus n, the difference between the indices. For example, if we have 3 raised to power 4 divided by 3 raised to power 2, then we have 3 raised to power 4 minus 2, which is 2. This is, of course, a 9. Law number 3, if a is raised to power m over n, if, if a is raised to power m over n, meaning that the index is a fraction, then the denominator, which is n, we go for the nth root of a, after which we raise it to the numerator, meaning m. If, for example, we have 8 raised to power 2 over 3, then we always go for the cube root or the third root of 8, after which we square it because 2 is at the numerator. And this is the cube root of 8 is 3. Is three, three uh, the, the cube root of 8 is 2. Uh, sorry, is 2. Then 2 squared is 4. The fourth law, when we have 1 raised, 1 over a raised to power a, this is the same as a raised to power negative a. When this a goes now to the numerator position, we talk about the reciprocal, then the sign of the index changes to negative. And the same case happens when we have a raised to power negative a, then this is the same as 1 over a, this time raised to power positive a. Note the recipro reciprocation changes the sign of the index. Finally, when a is raised to power 0, any number raised to power 0, then this is equals to 1, and we are going to prove that in a, in a short while. Thank you, and let us now prepare to understand example 3 to 6 in the next video.